hello guys uh, today in the tutorial i'm going to do a demo on basically how uh, depending on your ba um, backup configuration how the uh, restore and roll forward command will react okay so um uh, we know that uh, the recovery of a database uh, on in db2 uh, it has two phases one is the restore and the roll forward during a restore uh, we restore the backup image and during a roll forward operation we basically uh, uh, replay the logs transaction logs okay so in the first scenario uh, i have placed the database in circular logging uh, which basically means that we cannot uh, take online backups one two uh, uh, the reason for that is like uh, your logs will be getting overwritten so it is not possible to do a point in time recovery using a uh, circular logging database so uh, let's see so in the first test what i'm just making sure is that uh, just to show you that my database is not in uh, archive mode it is currently in uh, circular mode i'm just testing one uh, sample like uh, online database uh, backup command so it is failing uh, saying that uh, online backup is not allowed because the database is not recoverable right so i, I cannot take online backup here then what i'm doing is um, i'm just taking an offline backup of the database Okay, so this is the timestamp of that backup. And now, uh, let's uh, just just imagine that uh, this is our uh, time frame or timeline you can say. Okay, and uh, for some reason you have configured only um, circular logging on your database, so it means that you can uh, you can take only uh, full offline backups, right? Uh, imagine you have configured that backup to happen only on Sundays. Okay. So, and um, you don't have any backups on uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday or Saturday okay so it's a weekly Sunday backup and it's an offline backup now imagine you did some activity on Monday okay and uh, on Tuesday for some reason your database got crashed okay and currently you're running a circular logging right so the only thing you can recover is from the Sunday backup we don't we cannot use anything like the transaction logs to replay uh, the whatever transactions you did on monday or tuesday okay so you will have a data loss uh, from sunday to monday and monday to tuesday so two days of worth of data will be lost in case of your circle log okay so in this case uh, just imagine that i took a backup on sunday okay and uh, this is the image that backup image i just want to show here show it here okay and and just imagine you created a table on monday this table uh, i have created on monday okay just i'm connecting to database and then i'm creating the table on monday okay now tuesday something happened to your database and now i want to restore the database sample okay and i have not given any timestamp here because uh, in the my current path i have only one backup image okay so the database is uh, the restore command is intelligent enough to know that there is only one backup image and i will be using this image so it will just restore this uh, uh, database backup image okay so the database restore database sample is the syntax i uh, know it will prompt me because uh, i'm just restoring over an existing database right so it's just prompting like you have a database uh, do you want to overwrite the thing so i just give yes and the database restore was successful okay now i'm connecting to the database and i'm trying to list the tables which i created so if you know that i created the backup uh, this table after the uh, database backup image was done right now if i search for that table that table don't exist okay so uh, basically what i want to prove here is uh, we have a data loss because we are only able to restore uh, the image backup image okay and we are not able to, we will not be able to do any kind of roll forward because we don't have logs so it doesn't make sense to go for a roll forward when your database is circular log okay so this is the thing like um, just make sure if you are into production or some uh, or some other test environments uh, and your database availability is like it's uh, very high then um, make sure your database is in archive mode and not in circular mode so in case if your database is in circular mode you will end up like this okay 
so in the next test uh, what i'm doing is uh, i'm just uh, just ignore this syntax errors okay so what i'm doing is i'm just um, setting my database for archive, lo archive mode okay so what i'm doing is i'm just updating this log argmath pan parameter um, to this uh, location so that my logs the transaction log will be archived to this location okay so uh, if you have seen my earlier video like uh, after updating this parameter we need to make sure that we take an offline backup of the database okay so that uh, your um, database is uh, in circular logging uh, means archive logging okay after that i have created one uh, i'm connecting to database here and then i'm creating one table okay now uh, this table i have created uh, before i took an online backup image okay so if you see here i have created one uh, table t2 it was created before the online backup was taken which includes the log and this is my timestamp of the backup image so if you come down i can see three images so first one was the offline backup we took uh, second one was again the offline backup after changing the log arc math one to the archive destination and this is the online backup which we took just now okay so keep an eye on this timestamp here 12 27 okay so after the backup uh, what i've done is i have uh, I'm just connecting to database again and I, I created one table called T1 okay so T1 was created after the online backup was taken okay uh, now imagine something happens again like um, after you created the table something happened and you had to restore the database so I'm just using the same command here and if you see here I am given the keyword has taken it and 1227 okay this is the timestamp of the latest image here okay so i want to restore this image okay now um, you see here uh, i'm just given the image and it's again the same prompt is asking the whether you want to overwrite the backup image or not so i'm just restoring the database okay now if you see here um, after restoring the image i'm trying to connect <coughs> sorry about that i'm trying to connect to the database so it is throwing some errors saying the database is in role forward pending right so one most very 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 important thing we, we should understand about online backups is that whenever you take an online backup it is mandatory to do a role forward okay uh, if you think about the offline backup it took it is possible that if you take an offline backup we can just restore the image and we can bring up the database online but if it is an online backup we have to roll forward uh, the logs okay so make sure you have the logs in your backup image or or at the archive, archive destination because if you miss a even single log you will not be able to bring up the database uh, online okay so in those case very rare cases we we might have to go to ibm support and we have to create some dummy uh, logs and uh, bring the database online okay in those cases there will be huge data loss okay so the important thing is if you are taking an online backup it is mandatory to roll forward the database okay you cannot just simply stop at the restore command itself so you have to first restore the database and then you have to roll forward the database okay so so after the restore of the online backup i am trying to connect to the database it's throwing up some error saying it's roll forward pending okay now what i did was i did a roll forward of the database to end of logs and stop okay now if you see if you have seen my earlier video to end of log means it will replay all the logs which are available in your archive destination okay and then it'll stop the roll forward okay so uh, if you specify this command it will check for the archive destination which ever you updated in the database configuration so it will read from the configuration file and it will find the logs and it will replay all the logs okay and it will bring your database online so if you see here um, it has done the roll forward successfully okay i am connecting to database okay and i am listing the tables it's showing both the tables here 
okay so in this case what i've done is i have replayed all the logs so two end of logs okay now one more similar test what i'm going to do here is i'm uh, again i'm just um, doing the restore of this database okay uh, again the restore was successful okay uh, sorry about that uh, just ignore this step okay i did a restore again in this step what i'm doing is i am trying to extract the logs which are available in the backup image okay i'm trying to extract the log to this location so uh, if you remember we took the backup with the include log option right so what i am trying to do here is extract those logs into the log target location which is target logs okay, again it's prompting for me to override the image i just gave yes okay uh, actually i had some uh, logs before itself in the target logs location so just uh, complaining about those logs it's you can just give a yes and just continue with that okay now once the restore is uh, done if you see the roll forward command here it says to end of backup and stop okay in the previous case we did to end of log so we have replayed all the transaction logs which are available in the archive destination in this case what i did was i just wanted to replay only the logs which are available in the backup image okay so we give to end of backup and stop it'll just roll forward your uh, database to till the end of the backup okay now if you see here i'm connecting database and listing trying to list the tables i can see only t2 okay and i don't have t1 because uh, t1 was created after the backup was done right so so t1 is missing okay so um, how so practically how it impacts your um, database configuration now in the first case where we give uh, end of logs uh, those can be used for example when you have a disk issue uh, you have hardware issue on your disk uh, and you had to replace your disk but your data is now not no more there right so in those cases you will have to uh, use the restore command and then roll forward to end of logs because you want to get back all the data which was which which is got corrupted because of the disk issue right so you need all of this data so on in those cases you will use that to end of logs and then basically stop the roll forward okay uh, end of backup uh, this is mostly used when we want to do a, a refresh kind of thing like you have your production environment you, you want to like restore this uh, backup image from production to your test or quality system so do so do some testing so that you have the same volume what you have in the production server right so in this those cases you don't want to worry about your uh, what about the transaction log was created after the <coughs> backup was done so in those cases you can take um, the end of backup okay so basically for your system refreshes in sap or uh, you want to just do a refresh from production to quality or test something like that okay um third scenario will be like you um you made some error you, there was a human error okay now for example you took a backup on sunday and your database was running on monday tuesday okay and wednesday accidentally somebody has dropped a table or something happened right so you what you want to do is you just want to roll forward till that point where there was no error so for example like you drop the table at 1221 right now you just want to uh, roll forward till 1220 okay so uh, i'll come with that example now so again what i did was i just restored it, uh, restored the database again just for a um, for the test purpose again it's uh, like prompting me for that thing and restore was successful now in this case if you see i'm giving a point in time okay and the most important thing to note here is i'm giving a local time if you don't give the local time it will go for a uh utc time so which will not match your requirement okay so make sure you when you give the roll forward command use the local time okay so in this in this so in this case i've given a timestamp uh, which is greater than your backup image timestamp if you see here it's 122735 and i just want to restore my database to this point in time okay so i just give 122028 and i was able to bring the database online okay so in this case um, t2 uh, t1 not be there again because um, uh, i have done till 1228 only okay 
so if i give some other time uh, like 12 29 or 12 30 that uh, t1 will be restored back to the database okay so um so now now we know that like uh, when to use the point in time right where there's a human error or you don't want to commit those things which uh, which can impact your database okay and then you end up backup basically for your system refreshes something like that and then you have end up logs where you have hardware, fa hardware failure and you want to restore the entire database okay so these are some of the basic uh, scenarios uh, which you will use on your system maybe on a daily or occasional basis but uh, just make sure that you are well aware of this uh, commands okay because at the end of the day uh, for a dba these are your life saving commands that's my feeling okay uh, so in the next class maybe i'll uh, try to look more into roll forward command and give you more examples on the on the same okay thanks for watching